Hi guys, in this video I will show you how I set up my marmoset set scene for rendering hand painted and stylized stuff. At first we are gonna import our model here. Yeah, so just press file, import model and uh, let's go. I already have it here. Then we want to set up our material. There is a window with materials. I hold the texture. I prefer for hand painted to off uh, like the goals, just remove it to, to the spec or at metalness 0 for intensity and we'll use fresh now. I will show you why. Then we also have the emission here for this object. If you have normal maps you can upload them here we don't use for this one normal maps and also you can use like roughness and metalness workflow if you do more like pbr asset stylized one after that we're gonna set up our background we will go to sky here's a library of different environments with different lights you can check them out and choose the one you like the most clean then we're gonna use the color background i don't use this like realistic one background or blurred one we will go for something dark for this model because we have emission this will be cool for glowing effect to see it better after that you want to add couple um, lights on your scene to light the object from different sides uh, you can do this by just clicking on sky and then on this image and you can add how many lights you want yeah i already added some and i will show you what i have we have a front light that is a directional one and this is the brightness you can set up here also we're not gonna use shadows for this one I use couple omni lights here. It's a um, bottom one and the front one. Let's turn them on. So they give a better lighting on like my surface here. Another one one lights we are using uh a light for our rim light. This gives this mm, backlight effect here, you see. So it's a light from back side. At the light setting there is not much to touch, it's just like your lighting, uh, a light color, and that's kinda all. You can try the temperature. Mm, sometimes it's kinda cool, but I'm not gonna use it for this one. Here you also have your render settings. You can try restracing or you can choose the ambient i mostly like ambient for stylized and hand painted assets so they not working together you should choose only one type of light effects here ray tracing or ambience also you have um settings for your shadows quality here and here you have settings for your images and videos that you're gonna rent you can ch change resolution, format, samples, you can add transparency on your image by clicking here and so on and same stuff for video. On the main camera we have both settings so we can do like orthography or perspective, different field of view. Also we're gonna use safe frame, this will show us the settings of our image that we choose the size of image uh, the motion blur distortion flare it's mostly for realistic ones we're not gonna use this no it's not something we want for our stylized hand painted one you can uh, play with these tone mapping settings if you feel like your object is too dark or too bright you can change exposure or something not too crazy with these settings. 
the best way that your texture working great not the e settings and the sharpen it makes your edges like more sharp see but we, i'm using it like something here uh, for this one we're gonna use uh, boom effect too because we have the going parts so they're gonna blow and you can change the color of your boom effect if need also we are using a uh, vignet effect it's the stuff that goes on the sides of your image and make it darker and you can change change colors here for it and increase the size of it how you like the green effect is kind of interesting sometimes it gives a little bit nice noise on your image so you can play with it too another stuff i'm using for my works it's i call it a render plane let's turn it on you see it gives a background with some color from my point of light and how it works it's uh, just a mesh I made in Blender. You can make it in any 3D software. Let me show you how it looks. I will turn wireframe here. You can turn wireframe to the settings here. Wireframe. There it is. It's just mesh plane with different diagonal forms. I use it just to reflect the lights on our background without it you can do this other stuff i'm using for rendering the videos is the turnable uh, you can add it by scene add object and here you can find the turnable there's also the lighting sky folk and shadow catcher stuff it's uh, to show the shadow under your object like on the ground so there is our turnable we need to put one of our objects there and now we need to go to the window timeline here you have your settings for your turnable for your animations and you can make like a circle eight seconds for example you can choose different frames you can bake speed for this eight seconds and sync and the loop speed sort will be uh, open yeah let's try it out there we go also if you don't like to see these icons here you can go to this setting viewport settings and you can show guides to open there is no icons for other stuff on the scene wireframe here you can change colors for it uh, you can change the size of your wireframe another pretty cool thing is um, this function you can do the draft quality of your object you can do the grayscale for everything you can do untextured version wireframe version and different passes for your texturing and the lighting that's kind of, kind of cool stuff to render our object we go to render and we can do the rendering here render image render video if you press the render video it will render your turnable if you have it on the scene and image this will be just an image and the second way to render your image is to do this here you can press viewport and it will render your image and here it is your rendered image that's pretty all what i use for rendering setup in marmoset uh, for my uh, hand painted and stylized objects thanks for watching guys if you're interested in stylized hand painted art I do everyday streams on Twitch and feel free to join my R Discord community. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.